nobody wins when the family feels. But my you had put cigarettes out on this poor little child. There was evidence of that from the pictures. The bruises, some of the bruises were in the shape of a belt buckle. Man, I ain't gonna let you make I ain't gonna let you sit here and say that no crazy shit about me, man. No, man, because he's a he stays, he don't even know, man. Sir, the testimony showed that you put this child and other nope. childs in a shower no, in a shower to, with ice cold water. Anybody says anything back there around? <laughs> this four-year-old child that was victimized. There is no question in my mind, sir, that you did this. You are the lowest form of human life that I've been able to observe or see. You are a monster, and quite frankly, you are evil. Fam, I won't take too much of you guys' time today, at least talking. I requested the interrogation video of a man who was just sentenced to life plus 10 years in prison. Now, this come almost five years since the incident happened, and since day one, he claimed he's innocent. But I'm gonna let you guys try to determine that. So before we go over this one, remember, I don't give you no angle. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're gonna jump right to it. Fam, this Nelson Ortiz and his two biological kids in a recent picture while he's incarcerated in December of 2023. He'd been locked up since 2018. On June 13th, 2017, the police were called at around 10.45 a.m. to a report of a child named Giovanni not responsive inside a home on North Green Meadow Street. Paramedics took the child to the local children's hospital where he was pronounced deceased. May he rest in peace. According to Ortez, he was at home with his seven children that day. Three were his, three were his girlfriends. Fam, we're gonna get to her in a minute. But one of the kids was his niece. Ortez claimed when he woke up, he found Giovanni on the kitchen floor, not breathing, with serious stomach bloating. He ordered one of the other children to call 911 as he performed CPR. This Sonia Hernandez, she 30 years old. She went along with her boyfriend's statement until authorities claimed it was ruled a homicide. Then she cooperated and told the truth, at least according to her statement. My first charge is perjury. I lied under oath for a man who I thought loved and cared for me. I turned a blind eye. There's nothing I can say or do to go back and change the things. The only thing I can do is look forward to the future. My second is failure to protect my children and blaming a sibling on a sibling. Your Honor, signing my rights off was the hardest and most difficult decision I had to make besides standing in front of you, Your Honor. I, stand, I signed them off because I wanted them to move past. <clears throat> I wanted them to move past this mistake I made by letting someone come in their life. I am far from perfect and I accept responsibility for your conduct. Again, it doesn't change the past, and it won't bring my baby back. And I have to live with the fact that I failed my children. Your Honor, what you decide to give me is nothing compared to what I have been through. I wanted to apologize to my family, my children, my lawyer, and the courts. Thank you, Your Honor. So now you heard what she had to say. Check out. So what the only adult inside that home at the time had to say. Yeah, she's doing okay. We're, we're, do you need anything right now? You'll have to make you some coffee and water. Alright. Ranch Andy. Alright. We're, we're, here, we're here to help sort this out, okay? That's why we're here. We're here to figure out what happened. Do you go by Ellis or do you go by Nelson? You go by Nelson? Alright. But your legal name is Ellis, right? Yes. Alright. E-L-I-S? Yes. Nelson? Any LSON? 422 or 422. Okay, and what's your birthday? Alright, and what's a good cell phone number for you? What's the provider on that? No, no, Sprint, Verizon. Oh, Metro. Metro. And your home address? Alright. 
I know we had a chance to talk for just a quick minute while we were there, yeah. and I appreciate you coming down. Okay. Um, one of the things we're going to do first, I'm going to read you the rights just so you understand those. Okay, it's very standard for everything we do as far as um, an investigation like this. Um, it happens for everybody. So, so that looks like, and then we'll explain what, what's going on, and we'll hopefully be able to get some more information from you that can help us. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. You understand that? Okay. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand that? Sure. Right. You have the right to the presence of the lawyer before and during any question. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. And if you wish a lawyer can kind of afford one, the court will appoint one for you before any questioning. Do you understand that? The waiver portion says I have been advised of and understand each of the above constitutional rights and I'm willing to answer questions. Just give me a signature right there. That signature just says that we discuss those. It doesn't obligate you to anything. It just says that we talk about them. There's some of the things we're going to ask you that are going to be repetitive. Some of those things those guys already asked you, and we don't we don't know the answers to them yet. So um, I guess in the beginning, what I want to do is I just want to say, let's start with with what happened. Tell me your words. What happened? Well, this morning I woke up. Well, woke me up. She went kissed me, whatever, and went to work. You know, I'm laying on the couch. What time was that about? Probably like around almost. 6, 10, because she goes to work at 6.30. Okay. So she gives me a kiss, and then she leaves for work, and I fall right back to sleep on the couch. Um, I want to say, I can't even tell you what time I woke up around. Um, I don't know if it was, what time is it right now? It's noon right now. Noon? Okay, so I want to say probably like an hour before the whole situation happened, I woke up. Okay. Me and were on the couch. Okay. I wake up. Um, I slept with on the couch. Maybe it's easier if I back up a second, because I don't know who all lives there and who all lives So tell me who all lives at the house with you. Okay, uh. and they're visiting. Okay, so you woke up on the couch and who was with you at about, say, 9.45-ish? Okay. And, and Yes. And what's Um, uh, I don't, we call them. So you woke up on the couch and you yeah, Amber. Okay. And then Yeah, we're in the back. And is it a bedroom they normally share together? Well, I split them up, you know, for some purposes, you know. Or whatever, but a little bit, but you know, they got a situation going on with them, so I always split them up. Okay. So they were in split rooms. And and his room. Okay. So you she woke up six ten, she gave you a kiss, six thirty she leaves. Roughly nine, say nine forty-five. Does that sound about right, or would it be earlier? Uh, Man, for real, I couldn't tell you because I didn't even look at the time. The time I woke up, I know as soon as I woke up, because uh, my playing in the living room and there would be a loud, so I woke up, gave him a bowl of cereal. You can go and keep talking. I'm just gonna write. I gave. I gave. I gave him some cereal. I go in the back. I check on both. He was laying down up. I go in his room. He was laying down in his room up. 
uh, after that, you know, I took a shower or whatever. I used to make a shower because sometimes. So, uh, I make him take a shower, like, come on, take a shower or whatever. And when he gets up, he's like, no, I don't feel good. And then, all right, well, I grab him, and he feels kind of hot, so I'm like, <coughs> all right, come on. So, I turn the shower on for him. He gets in the shower. I go back up to the front. I get some water, a cup of water, because he had an idea. He just, like, he just roughly woke up when I just woke him up. Okay. I get him some water and some bacon. So, I go back there. And, like, when I go back there, he's in the water or whatever. And then, like, I don't know, it just seemed like his body, like, he just looked like he was getting stiff, like he couldn't move. And then, so I grabbed him out of the water. The water was kind of cold, you know what I'm saying, because I was, like, he was kind of warm, so I was trying to, like, wake him up or whatever, so. How cold was it? Was it the water only got on cold? Or no, 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 it was, like, you know, like, mid, you know what I'm saying, mid, cold, mid, hot, like, okay. warm, you, you know. Okay, you call it Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, I grabbed him off the water, like, just right, and, like, like, he couldn't move his body. He was just looking at me, and he like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, buddy, are you all right? Are you all right? He's like, yeah. So I try to give him some water. I give him some water, and, like, he's drinking it, but at the same time, like, I don't know. It's like he, he drank it, but it was like he got, like, it was getting stuck. So I'm like, just give him the water. Keep giving him I'm like, buddy, you hungry? You hungry? like, yeah. So I try to give him some bacon, and I just keep trying to give him water, 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 and then, like, I feel like his, his stomach is filling up. How like, much water would you say you know? <laughs> I was I just kept trying to give him water, water, because I don't know, you know, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know what to do. So I, I'm thinking, like, I don't know, he's dehydrated or something, because I saw his body turning pale. I mean, his, like his face, and yeah, like his whole body turning pale. So I'm trying to give him water. Like, all right. And, like, like, I felt his stomach to, like, to the point where, like, it was bloated and hard. So I'm like, throw up. Throw up. So I'm trying to push on his stomach. So he could throw up, but he ain't throw it up. So I try to stick my finger in his mouth. So he could throw up. He bit me right here. You know, okay. I'm like, throw up, throw up. I like, I didn't know what to do. So like, all of a sudden, I go like, I go uh, to get him some clothes or whatever. Coming like my, I came in the back, and I'm like, no, go in the front, go in the front. So like, the the lights shut off. So now, I'm, like he's. He where where are you at? Are you in the bathroom still? No, I mean, I'm, no, no, by this time, I went to my room, I get a towel, you know, I'm trying to get him covered up and everything, so now, I'm in his room trying to get him some clothes. Is he saying anything to you at this point? No, he, he's like, he, he'll stare at me, he might say like one word, but he's not really, you know, not saying nothing. So, by this time, I go in his room, and I lay him down, I lay him down on the towel, I put some pants, some shorts on him, and now he's not saying nothing. So, I'm... I'm so I'm trying to give him air and CPR, you know what I'm saying? So ambulance call the ambulance, hurry up, hurry up. So now I'm trying to give him CPR and, and blow him and you know give him air. And I'm doing this for a good like five minutes. I'm like, call the ambulance, call the ambulance, go call the ambulance. So he goes, takes off, he comes back and he comes back there. I'm like, he's not breathing, he's not breathing, call the ambulance, call the ambulance. I grabbed him, I picked him up and that's when I went to the kitchen with him, you know, all you know. I, they went, I told him to go outside, you know, okay. and, uh, I mean, so I'm in the kitchen, I'm trying to give him CPR and blowing his mouth, he can get air until, you know what I'm saying, somebody comes and then all of a sudden, you know, and that's when we're both in the kitchen trying to give him CPR and stuff, and, <laughs> okay, okay, it's okay, it's all right. talk about. And I'm sorry to make you have to go back through it again, okay? <laughs> no, I mean, man, like, I'm there for him, you know, like, this, you know, I, I took the initiative to step up to the plate like I have my own kids. You know, I love my kids, I see my kids, I take care of my kids. And I feel like it's just, like, it's my fault, man. Like, he's not going to do nothing. What? Do nothing. Someone said that he had been sick before. Has he been sick for a while? Is this a new thing? I mean, no, he's been 
Yeah. And I don't know, I don't know if it's sick though, cause it's been like, oh, like, going on for like about two, three weeks now. Where How long from the time that he how long does that normally take? <clears throat> like last night he he ate. What did he have last night? He ate uh pizza. Okay. He ate the pizza. Well he had a bowl of cereal first, then he went and ate the pizza, drunk some water, bowl, threw it up. Okay. And he threw up the, the cereal and the pizza? I don't I mean kind of Yeah, yeah, well yeah, he threw it up, yeah. Okay. And food from yesterday he threw up. Okay. Is he taking any medications right now? Not that I know of, no. I don't give him nothing. Okay. Do you know, has he been to the doctor recently to be get, to getting any medications? And he's been prescribed? No, I don't know. You don't know or you don't think so? No, I don't. I don't know. I, I don't know if he's taking meds or not, but I don't give him no medicine, so okay. I don't know what she gives him. I don't know. Um, I don't give him nothing, no. Do you know when the last time he's at the doctor? No. Would it be safe to say that it's not been in the past few weeks? No, yes. Yeah, no, it hasn't. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, has anything else happened that's been out of the ordinary that... Well, yeah, well, me and my room one day, and he comes back there, and uh, he tells me and his mom, like, uh, you know, I understand, you know, but even him, you know what I'm saying? Well, same with Blaine, it's the truth, right? But, but, it didn't come from nowhere else right. that you can tell. But, yeah, and, like, when I first moved, whatever, I guess, I don't know if it was her family, I mean, his How family. Long uh, February 22nd, when I had that. No, I, I finished everything. Okay. And then just up, the, like just the other night, like see, I because I try to give. Chance, you know what I'm saying? Because they're kids, you know. I love kids. I, I got my own kids, you know. Like, everybody can tell you I love kids. I take care of kids, whatever. But the other night, uh, like, I always try to give them a chance because I try to get, you know. So, then the other night, he tells me, like, uh, he's in the living room. And he runs to the back room, like, Nelson, uh, he like, uh, Nelson. I swear I just saw like I looked out the window and I saw like an explosion and then I turned and looked in the kitchen and I saw like a dead body. I'm like, what do you mean? You know what I'm saying? Well, where you, come on, man, let's go check. And I go, I'm like, where, I mean, where are you seeing these things? I see nothing and everything's okay. I'm like, man, come to the back room with us, you know what I'm saying? So we go back there, whatever. I put a light in this room. I turn the light on. I'm like, man, look. So this is late at night? Yeah, this is late at night. Okay. I'm like, you know, put the light on for him or whatever. I'm like, man, look, go ahead, I'm going to turn this light on for you. Just stay in your room. And then he wakes up again. Nelson, Nelson, I hear some girl talking out my window. You know what I'm saying? What's going on, man? Ain't nobody there. You, you okay, man? Chill. But then it wasn't just that. Like, he had talked to himself. But they all did it, though. So I was like, so, what's going on, man? You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, that's what he is. I, mean, I don't want to blame but, you know, like... You said two weeks ago-ish, he started getting ill. Yes. Was there anything that led up to that? Was there 
I mean, when I say stomach flu, or when I say like I'm sick, I'm uh, I'm down for the count. I'm out. I'm uh, I'm in bed. I can't get up. I'm sick. I don't feel good. Was he all that, or he just? And this was he when twenty second up until two weeks ago he was fine. Yeah, he was good. He was. I mean, he was normal. Yeah, he was good. He okay. was good. And did the the sick thing that start at home, start at school, or that start at? He don't go to school. Okay. Yeah. Does he go to daycare anywhere or anything? Like no, that? no, just, just with you. Yeah, just just with me. Okay. Well, and everything else, but just with me. Those kids. Was there any? Problems that he had with, say, you know, any type of injury he had following a, a fight, uh, altercation. Well, they, they always fight. You know what I'm saying? They fight every day. They always fight. You know, okay. that's like a normal thing for them. But, but was there anything like you walked in and he was unconscious or he had a pretty big bump on his head or anything that would, you know, tell you that he had been in a pretty significant fight? With well, yeah, like, I mean, a couple of times, you know, he came up to me like, oh, Nelson against the wall or whatever and I tell him like oh it's a bump okay we'll put some ice on it you okay you know what I'm saying but that's a how long would have been was that around this tweet time before or after it no this was probably like this probably happened about a week ago too when he came up to me and told me that okay and same time he was like he pushed me against the wall and he had scraped his face right here okay he had a bump in his head where was that bump at I think it was like right on the left left side. Left, so left back top, kind of. Yeah, kind of like right here. Okay. Left, yeah. <sighs> but they, they, I mean, they always fight like that. Like, I mean, rams his head against the wall. And Jesus pulls her hair. You know, them kids, they're rough. They're okay. rough. Um, was there anything like that? I mean, this is one to two weeks ago, but this happened further back, the illness when it started. Was there anything around the illness time that you're like, wow, he's hit his head on the wall or hit his head on the floor, and then all of a sudden he won't eat or he's throwing up or anything like that? Anything like a concussion? I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you for I don't know if... Okay. I mean, if you bump your head, I don't know if you got a concussion or not, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm just asking if his behavior changed. Did he start acting strange? You know, just one day, like, I want to say, like, um, probably, like, a couple days ago, I'm sitting with him, and, you know, he's just, like, I don't know, he's acting funny. Like, he's not really, like, he's just acting like he just looked like, like, I don't know, like, he's just real sick. I'm like, are you okay? And I asked him, did you get into anything? You get into it and show me what did you what you get into because like he wasn't acting like himself. Like I just bought him some ice cream and some pop or whatever. And you get into anything? Tell me what you get into. What did you did drink you, anything? You know what I'm saying? Did you give him some ice cream and some pop? Was that before that or after that? Like he was looking sick or feeling sick? Did you give him that to make him feel better or was it before? No, no, no. no. I, I I just went. We just went to the store and got some ice cream and some pop. You know what I'm saying? So when I come back, whatever he eats, all of that, and you know what I'm saying, everything. So when I come and look at him or whatever. You okay? Cause he ain't just hand like I don't know. He looked like he was just getting sick. Are you okay? Are you okay? Did you get into anything? Did you get into anything? what? Did you get into what? Did you, you know what I'm saying? Show me what you got into. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, you know there's chemicals and everything. I'm trying to fix the uh the bathroom and all that back there. So I'm, you know like did you get into anything? You know I'm hoping you ain't get into this glue that I I do the uh, pipes with. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He's like, no, no, no. But I'm like, man, you don't look like, you know what I'm saying? You don't look like yourself. Did you get into anything? Are you all right? He's like, yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. And I mean, I just left it at that. I'm like, all right. And he was fine later that day, that afternoon? Yeah, well, I mean, he still just acted like he was sick. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, you know, I didn't know what it was, but he just, he, I don't know, he didn't, like, he was not playing or nothing like that. He just what was had a look out there. As what? Well. Where was this stuff kept at? The glue? Yeah. I just keep it right there, like on the uh, on the top of the sink in the hallway. Did you see any open containers? Like, yeah, been in that glue or anything? You know what I mean? Was it open on the floor, spilled over, like he was in it, or? No, well, you know, I mean, they could open it themselves. It's not hard to open or whatever. But I, 
I don't know because he wouldn't tell me if he got into anything or nothing. But it wasn't left open. No, no, I didn't leave it open. No, 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 no. I'm saying if they were playing, they might have opened it and left it open. He didn't leave it open. No, 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 no. no if he no. got into it, he would have had to put it back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or if there was some on the floor too, you know, I kept. It was like two, three right here, and then it was two by the uh, by the floor, by the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Like when you walk into the bathroom. Did you find those move from where you had last left them? Yeah, well, I don't think they're there now. No, I think I put them back up on the. Uh, on the same but you didn't find them in the middle of the floor, or like no, they no, were no, playing no, no, with them. No, no. They were where you last saw them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, aside from the uh, glue that was out, was there anything else that you may have gotten into? Any chemicals that were out? Anything no, laying around? I, like I, uh, I had a bowl of uh, I don't want to type Mr. Clean stuff. I had a bowl of that. It was, but it like. There's a white bowl right now in the hallway that I had because I was cleaning the hallway, but I left it there too. But it was another, it was like more like a, a clear bowl. And I had left that out too, like Mr. Clean or whatever, and I left that in the bathroom too as well. Okay. And uh, that had the Mr. Clean chemical in it or whatever, and I had okay. left that in there. And you think that, I guess I'm trying to figure out what he may have gotten into at the time that he started getting sick, and this, the, the two weeks ago was a sick thing. You said only a couple of days ago is when he had the uh, food, the soda pop and the ice cream and stuff, and he started getting like, would you describe it as more sick? No, he, I mean, no, he just looked like, oh, he looked like he was getting like, kind of like pale, like he just had got into something, he was just, okay. you know, about to pass out or something. Do you think he got it? I mean, if you're going to guess, do you think he got into something? Well, when I asked him, he started looking around like, Okay, yeah, I'm gonna show you what I got into, but he wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? Like he wouldn't go directly to it and grab it. So you think he did get into something? Then? I mean, I, I think so. Like he, I always ask him if you do something, you know what I'm saying? You gotta tell the truth about it. So when I ask him, like, did you get into something? He goes like looking around, like he's gonna grab what he got into, but then he don't go grab it. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, what, do you, what would be your best guess as to what you think he got into? I don't know. There's like there's chemicals there, I mean. What chemicals would be out and accessible to him? Probably that, like that Mr. Clean, uh. What is it, Mr. Clean what? I don't, it's the, I don't know. It's the like toilet bowl cleaner, um, the, I mean, there's all different kinds of sprays and all kinds of stuff. Is this a concentrate, is it? I don't know, it's in one of them, I couldn't tell you, it's just one of them, like clear bottles, it's green. Is the stuff you, so you're supposed to mix water with it, like a concentrate? I don't know, I just did it. I mix like I mix water with it and then I just like clean it because it smells good, so I clean the toilet, the tub and everything else with it, you know what I'm saying? How much of it did you My put the bowl of, before you put the water in? Probably like half of it. Half of the half probably of like the bottle? Probably like this much. No, not half of the bottle, but you know, freaking cold, probably like, you know, a good a good amount of it, quarter okay. of it. I mean and then there's pills you can get well, I might have one sitting on my dresser or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't Is that know. yours? I don't pres no, it's not mine. Okay. It's not mine. Is this prescribed to anybody you know or is it? I might just take one or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But Who is it prescribed to? Obviously, I can understand you, you, your relationship with him best because he's obviously got some problems. And no, but I mean, I don't, I don't hold that against him. You know what I'm saying? I try to make the best, like all they love me. There, I'm the one there for him. You know what I'm saying? And like at first, he ain't really like me. You know, he called the police on. deal with that or whatever. Yeah. Whatever became of that? Uh, nothing. No. No. Whatever the next day said, sorry. You okay. So, uh, but, um, I mean, I gotta ask. You, I tried to pistol whip him? No. Alright. Well, I mean, it's only, no. I gotta ask, right? No. I didn't think so. So, but. uh, but other than that, I try to build a relationship with him because I don't hold it against him. I mean, he's a kid, you know, so I just, all I do, man, I just try to, 
I try to imply, you know, okay, you don't do this, you don't do that, this is how you do it, this is what you do, you know. That's it, that's all I do, man. What well, as far as punishments, what's, uh, what's standard routine? Stand in the wall, stand in the wall, get in the room, don't come out of the room. Okay. Uh, spankings? No, I did hit the before in his leg, but that was about it. Okay. And how, the, how long ago was that? Probably like a couple days ago. Okay. February 22nd. Yes, 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 yes. So yes. you only February 22nd. Yes. How long have you known her? I met her, uh, probably like, uh, November 23rd when I came home. 2016? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Um, I'm just trying to get in my head here about this Mr. Clean. Um, where, what, so there's a bucket that was kept where exactly? In the hallway. In the hallway? Is there still water in that bucket? Yes. And then, was it kept anywhere else? Uh, under the sink. Okay. And that's the bucket or that's the... No, 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 the... The, 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 the concentrate. The, the, where the concentrate. Comes, the, where it comes in the bottle. It, the bottle's under the sink, and the bucket was in the hallway. And this isn't a spray bottle, this is the kind no, of... No, 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 this is the kind of... What color the bucket is it? The, the bucket, the stuff is yeah. in Yeah. It's a white bucket. Okay. How long has that bucket been there? A couple days, probably. Okay. And when he, I mean, was gonna, when he felt sick, when you had the pop, on, uh, I think it was ice cream. You said that you went and got, and then he looked pale and sick. And he was gonna take you to, when you asked him what he got into, he was gonna take you somewhere. Where, where do you think he was gonna take you to? I don't know, cause he, like, he would walk out, he would look in the bathroom, and he'd be like, all right, all right, come on. We walk to the kitchen. He looked under the sink, and then he said, he like, all right, I'm you got into, man, I need to know, you know what I'm saying, for I know, I can know sure. what to do. Yeah. And then he'll go back to the back room, and he'll go back in his room, what you got into. But he'll never go grab, like, exactly, like, go grab what he got into. So how did that end? I just left it alone. Okay. You know, I just left it did alone. Did he feel sick after that? No, I just, like, I just told him lay down, you know what I'm saying, I right, will go lay down or whatever. And how long, yeah. when he laid down, well, first of all, what time did that happen? Was that during the day? Yeah, that was like yeah, that was like during during the day, like probably like around like twelve. Okay. Like twelve. And, and it's me here. All right. Did, what did he do? Did he lay down? You said he wanted he didn't want to play. He didn't feel. No, good. yeah, I just did. I just told him to lay down. He went to lay down in his bed, you know. And I went went in my room. And I went to sleep too. How long? What time? Did I'm like around two fifty three o'clock. Okay, and was okay. at that point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. were you up yeah. at that point? No. When she, she came home, I got up, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, obviously, up. he was up for or whatever, you know. Did he seem okay at that time? Yeah, I mean, yeah, but he was still like, he was still like himself. Like, he wasn't trying sure. to play and, you know, do all of that. He just sitting on the couch, kind of like a lazy. Yeah. Did the mom that then? No, I, I think I had told her about it, yeah. I think mm -hmm. I had told her about it. So you thought he may have gotten into something? No, I, I just told her, like, that he just looked to sit, you know what I'm saying? Like, and he wasn't acting like himself. That was about it. It was worse two days ago when he did this? I mean, I'll... I don't, I don't know what's worse. Not everything is bad. Shit. Well, no, but what I'm saying is it's every day after a meal, like you feed them something after. And then when this all happens, with him feeling he was much worse than what he normally was, even when he was throwing up. He was kind of like pale, like, you know what I'm okay. saying? So when he would throw up before, he would throw up and then he would be okay and go out about his day? So after every meal... No, he would throw up, he would throw up and, like, and just, boom, go sit down. Like, he wouldn't play with nothing. So what was one so days that all happened? No, like, no, like, some days he'll feel good, you know what I'm saying? Some days, like, he'll play or whatever outside, me and him, and we go walk to the store or whatever. He'll be fine. 
and then you know, some days you're not. So what made this different to be like, hey, what'd you get into? Well, what I mean is, what what made the two days ago when you thought he got into something? What made you think, man, what'd you get into? Versus, because you had been sick, you know, for two weeks and not feeling good and sitting down. So, what made it so worse to make you think that he got into something? Because I mean, I did have drug, like, you know, some a drug there, you know, but I don't. It wasn't like I don't think it was like exposable to where he can. A drug get it, being, you know, as in, you know, a narcotic. No, no, different. What did you have there? Cocaine. Okay, and where was this at? This was uh, in my drawer. Alright. How much was there? Oh, probably like a little 20. It well, wasn't nothing big. Okay. Powder or rock? No, it was powder. Did you go check it? Was there any missing? No, like I had some. I had some in a baggie and then I had some like on a. Uh, on a, uh, on like a, uh, a mirror thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. That was it. Was there any messing off the mirror? Um, I wouldn't have been able to tell. How much coke was there? It was only like a 20, like point two, something small. Do you still have coke in the house now? No, I don't. Where'd that, where'd that go? Use used it. Use it all? Okay. So aside from the coke being out, you, he been sick off and on. That's what made me real curious about that day, you know. No, I didn't want to say it, but... Well, I, I appreciate you being honest. I mean, <laughs> let, let's be real here. We're talking about him. I'm worried about him. I have some cocaine. That's, I mean, whatever. That's, that's neither here nor there. Is there anything else in the house that... No. I mean, whether you want to say it or not, we just want to make sure that... It no, there's nothing. No, no drug, no gun, no nothing. In the house. Okay. Well, all right. And you don't think... I mean, based on what you saw, you wouldn't know if he got into it, but again... Playing with it, you would think that he would like, you know, knock it over or whatever, or he would wipe it off. He wouldn't know what that is to be careful with it. Right, right. So he wouldn't take just a little bit. He'd mess with the whole thing. Well, I mean, right? I mean, yeah. I don't know. Them kids, man, <laughs> kids they keep you busy. Them, you don't know. Them kids are smart, man. You don't know for real. So the So it's on a mirror on top of that. Yeah, but, okay. you know, like I used to just cover it with my car or whatever. And I had it on the mirror that day. Okay. Is the, the mirror and stuff still sitting there? No. Where's the mirror at now? It's clean. Put it away. Well, put it away where? In right. the house still? Yeah, I don't remember where I put it. But yeah, it's in the house. Okay. Is it like a small circular one? Yeah, yeah. No. Okay. All right. Would it be like in the bathroom, or do you normally keep that stuff in your bedroom, or? No, like I cleaned it. It's just a you know a mirror. So I think I had cleaned it, and I forgot where I put it. I don't know if I put it back in my room or I put it in that little white sink in the hallway or where I put it. But I cleaned it off and I put it somewhere. I don't remember exactly where I put it. All right. Tell me about this um, cup. So he went in the shower. Was it actually the shower that was running? When this morning when he got up, yeah, yeah, when you got him up, then he was feel good. You wanted to wake him up, so you took yeah. him and you put him in the shower. Then you said you went and got him some water. Yeah. What, what kind of cup was that that you went and grabbed? It was a blue cup. How big was that cup? Probably like this big. Okay. Where did you obtain get that cup from? I went to the uh, to the to the cabinet and grabbed it. You know how many ounces roughly that would be? No. Any idea? No, I don't know. Okay. Is it plastic glass? Plastic. Mm -hmm. And was it like see-through or was it like... No, a no, no. It was uh, like you can't see through it. It's solid. But but it was a normal... It wasn't like a uh, solo cup? Not a disposable cup? No, 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 no. But a solid plastic yes, blue cup? Yes. Okay. So you go get that and you said you were pouring... You went and got bacon. How much bacon did you get? It was just like one, one little strip. Okay. And where was that at? That was... Uh, it was in the microwave, but I had to set it on the counter. Okay, all right. Did you eat the bacon that morning? No, it was like a day old, you know what I'm saying? But I just went and grabbed something from him real quick to eat or whatever. He said he, he ain't, you know what I'm saying? When I saw him turn the pill, he ain't feel good. So when I went and grabbed the water and the bacon, you know, I came back there or whatever. 
and then uh, I had grabbed him out the shower and I put him on my lap like this and I started having to put him on your lap at? Uh, I like I put my knee on the I put my foot on the toilet and I yeah. sit right here. Okay, so you're on the, you're sitting on the toilet? No, 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 you're I'm standing. standing you're standing up. Yeah, you're standing up with my foot up. And I got him right here and I'm just giving him the water. All right, are you alright? How many right? cups of water do you, do you think you gave him? Man, I don't know, man, a lot. Where were you getting the water from? From from the shower now, because I can't run with him to the front, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So I'm getting out the shower, keep trying to give him. You say water. a lot? Are you talking ten cups, twenty cups, thirty cups? I, I don't know, I'm just giving him water, just constantly water. I mean, you know, I'm thinking, you know, maybe he's dehydrated or okay. whatever, you know, so I just keep getting the water and giving it to What's him. What's he doing when you're giving him the water? He's just, like, he'll drink it and then, <coughs> and he'll, you know what I'm saying, kind of like, like he'll choke on it, but then he'll be like, all right. Did he throw any of it up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just while that. you were sitting there? No, 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 not while I was sitting there. When I went and uh, laid him down, like, when I laid him down trying to do CPR on him or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But that's how he threw some up. But before then, his stomach was like bloated, bloated. So was I'm it bloated to, before the water? Or no, no, after, the, after I'm putting the water in him, you know what I'm saying? So while well, he, like, he, when it gets big, throw up, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, you know, like your stomach is hard, hard rock. I'm like, throw up, throw up. And I try to stick my finger in his mouth, push on his stomach. That's when he bit me, you know, so I'm trying to make him throw up now. So at what point... At what point does he stop talking to you? Because he's still talking to you, right, when you're sitting underneath? Yeah, like... But he's not having a conversation. Yeah, no, he's not having a conversation with me. He stopped talking to me when I try to, uh... When I... And I got him on, on the floor in the room when I called his brother to, uh... Come call the ambulance. Like, he just... Like, everything just stopped. So when he got out of bed, initially, you woke him up. Did you carry him to the shower or did he walk to the shower? No, no, no. He, he was up. He was just laying in bed, though. Man, you know, it's time to take a shower. He peed on himself a little bit, you know. But I had laid him on the bed, like, when I had got him out the shower, you know. No, he ain't have no wet pants on. But he smelled like urine? No, his, his, his draw is like, it was orange drawers he had on them. Like, he had a little pee on him, but I don't know. Do you think it was from this morning, though? Like when he no, was yeah, laying in bed? No, it was from this morning. I know that. Was it wet, though? What? Before he got in the shower, were his pants, when he got out of bed, were his pants wet? He, no. His drawers were wet. His, his underwear. Yeah, it was like, it was just like a misty pee, like he ain't pee a lot, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But the, sh the shorts that he had on wasn't wet, but I, when I took the shorts off to take him a bath or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like the drawers had a little bit, you could tell, like they had a little bit of pee on them. Okay. And when he got up out of bed, did he walk to the bathroom on his own, or did you carry him? No, I, I held his hand, you know. I held his hand or whatever to the shower. But he walked? Yes. Okay. And did he look ill this morning before he got in the shower? He did, like, he, it was like a lazy walk, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I was like, dude, man, are you okay? Because I always ask him every day. I asked all the kids, are y'all right, you know what I'm saying? How, what's going on? How's our day going, you know what I'm saying? And he was like, Nelson, I don't feel good. I'm like, all right, so, you know, I put him in the shower or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Did he say anything hurt? My head hurts, my stomach hurts, my back hurts. Did no. he say anything specific? No, he did didn't. He, had, did he see any marks on his body anywhere? No, he didn't tell. Well, you know, he always got little bruises on him from fighting and stuff like that, so. Where did you see bruises? Probably, like, I saw, like, right here, and then on his legs. And then, like, like when his body had cleared out or whatever, like, The blood wasn't circling through him. Like, I saw bruises where I was pushing that, you know, trying to get him to puke or whatever. So you saw one right here? No, I think like his left side. Left side of his like chest, yeah. chest, like by the collarbone. Yes. And then you said on his legs. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know how he, how long those have been there? No. Have you seen? Have you seen those before yeah. this morning? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yesterday or whatever. I saw the bruises or whatever. But we like. Was fighting or whatever the case may be, he was a kid, he fell or whatever. You know yeah, what sure. Yeah. Yep. No, I hear you. I have a. You're saying. I mean, they're always getting hurt. Yeah, but no, the the fighting they do is just, this, you know, just ain't, ain't like a normal fight, you know. So for him, like physically, I mean, hurting him. Yeah, I mean. 
you know what I'm saying? How, how regular does this happen? Almost every day. If I'm so every just like every day, he would say he yeah. told me he did something to me, yeah. he touched me. He did how many times? Probably like three, four times. Yeah. Yeah. It over what period of time? Over the last month, two months, three months? Well, we just found out about this about two, two, two weeks ago. Yeah, probably two, three weeks. So he told you three separate times over the last two weeks. Yeah. And what was the sleeping arrangements for everybody? Well, because like, they were down, at, they were in separate rooms, but on opposite ends of the hallway or something. No, no, no. Like, the, like just my room. Can you draw that just like I, I have a photographic memory, so it just helps to be able to see it on a piece on a picture, just so I understand that. Um, you just draw like the hallway and then where whose rooms are where. That would be great. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Yeah. Sleeping, I might have been up all night or whatever, so I might be sleeping and I might just up front in the living room. Okay. So where is all this? Where are all these when he's beating them up and touching them? Where is this all happening at? Well, I mean, if I'm asleep, I'm thinking in the living room because they're not back there by me or, you know what I'm saying, I would be hearing them. Okay. Where do you spend most of your time in your room? Yeah. Okay. Do you ever hear? I mean, when he comes to you and says something that hurts yeah, you, well, you just say it or yeah. you cry? Well, sometimes in the back room and we hear him cry or whatever, you know what I'm saying, and then like, if I know whatever, I might go out there and check on him, but then like, they stop. Yeah. Okay. Or he'd be like, hit me. Like, oh, you know what I'm saying? As soon as we go out, it's always like that. It's always like that. Alright. What do you think is your best guess as to what happened here with, with him? What do you have any, I mean, you know, I'm just coming in and my partner, we're just coming in here kind of blind to try to figure this out. Right, no, and you no, know the family a lot better. Right? What, what, what do you think? I don't know. I seriously, I, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. This just kind of just like out of nowhere, and I'm, I'm like, I'm trying to help him, but I'm like, damn, what the? Like, no, I hear you, and we didn't, if we aren't asking you to tell us something you don't know, we're right now just trying to, you know, put it together in our heads of exactly what's going on and get caught up to speed. So if you had a, you know, a guess or an idea of what could have happened, um, let us know. We're just here to figure this no, out. Like, no, I understand. Like, for yeah. real, I seriously, I, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I mean, do you, you think he got into something? Do you think this is an illness? Do you think it's, you know, he fell down and hit his head? I mean, I don't know. I don't, honestly don't know. I just know he just woke up this morning and he just told me he didn't feel good. Okay. Had you heard any fighting coming from that bedroom? I know you were just woken up on the couch, but no. did you hear any fighting from... No, not this morning. Huh? when you checked this morning. Yep. Alright. Do you have any 
give us just a couple minutes. We're going to talk. We'll be right back, okay? Do you need anything in the meantime? Anything you want? Or stay down? This year? We're going we're gonna to go check. Somebody's been talking to her and helping her, okay? okay. So she's okay. All right. Fam, the only key evidence was the witness who was the mother in her statement, honestly. Based on the information provided, do you think this man is guilty? Once again, rest in peace to Giovanni. Love of condolences to his family. Fam, I'll catch you guys on the next one.